The building at Schmelwitzer Strasse II in Cottbus, Germany, is still scarred from a unique accident almost half a century ago, with a legendary picture taken that day showing a MiG-21 embedded in its facade. On a late morning in January of 1975, an aircraft of the first fighter wing took off from Cottbus Nord Air Base for a training flight. The pilot, Major Peter Makowicka, was to test the aircraft after undergoing repairs. The takeoff went smoothly, and as such, Makowicka did not notice anything odd until it was too late. As the pilot was preparing to land, the engine suddenly failed, and he had to make a crucial decision – either save himself or spare the thousands of workers at a factory just below him from fatal consequences. Break the routine. It was the morning of January 14, 1975, when 33-year-old Major Peter Makowicka took off for a training flight aboard his Mikoyan Gurievich MiG-21. As part of the first fighter wing, he was stationed at the military airbase Cottbus Nord in the German Democratic Republic. The aircraft had been recently equipped with a new engine, but subsequent testing had been postponed several times due to bad weather. That fateful day, the Major finally took it into the air without trouble or any sign that something was wrong. Shortly after 10 a.m., Makawika began the landing approach and lowered the gear. At that moment, the cover latch on the engine compressor opened, and the airflow caused the engine to malfunction and flame out. The pilot reported the failure and the results of at least one failed attempt to restart the engine. In turn, the military control center at Cottbus directed him to eject and let the plane go down. Nevertheless, Makowicka knew that the textile Combinata Cottbus plant was right in his path, with thousands of workers inside that morning. Moreover, there was also a school and a kindergarten. As such, the pilot bluntly disobeyed the orders to save his own life and tried to lift the unpowered aircraft over the densely populated area despite the Delta Wing's poor gliding ability. Makawika aimed for an empty field ahead, thinking of attempting a crash landing. But with not much altitude left, he wouldn't get that far. State of Emergency The falling aircraft grazed the roof of a building behind the factory. Moments later, at about 10.15 a.m., the MiG-21 crashed into a five-story apartment building, a typical East German Plattenbau. A picture from the scene shows the aircraft stuck in the concrete building, with its tail sticking out. As the aircraft damaged the second and third floors of the staircase at Schmelwitz Strasse II, it claimed the lives of several residents who also worked at the factory. But having sacrificed himself, Major Makowicka had saved countless lives. However, the danger was far from over. About 800 liters of kerosene leaked from the shattered fuel tanks and started a fire that burned at temperatures of 1,000 degrees Celsius. The deflagration-like flare-up quickly spread through the building's basement to the fourth floor, melting the magnesium and aluminum on its way. Rescue and firefighting teams, as well as the German Red Cross, soon arrived at the site. The fire brigades would have an exceedingly rough time controlling the scene, and to make matters worse, they ignored whether the aircraft carried any ammunition or not, which would endanger their lives and further complicate the operations. As such, the rescue teams assumed there was a high risk of explosion. Meanwhile, the injured civilians were quickly taken to the hospital, while the security teams evacuated the building by breaking open at least 18 apartment doors. The fire brigade then sprayed extinguishing foam, effectively appeasing the kerosene flames. Later, they switched to water, to prevent suffocation and chemical burns to those still inside. Even so, many jumped out of the windows in panic and had to be treated for severe injuries. An hour and 15 minutes later, the fire was extinguished. Trail of Clues The area was cordoned off and sealed hermetically. Hundreds of firefighters, police officers, 
medics and soldiers had managed to control the situation. Two days later, the building was patched up as evidence of the gruesome accident. The reason for the malfunction remained unknown, and the wreck was taken for examination. At first, the experts couldn't find a clear reason for the engine failure, but further investigations found not only an explanation, but also a culprit. It soon became clear that the maintenance hatch was missing due to the burn marks on the wreck during the fire. A deeper analysis showed that the aircraft attendant responsible for the MiG-21 had failed to fasten the flap correctly. Having to prepare the aircraft for takeoff several times in vain after several postponements, he only attached it with four screws crosswise instead of the complete set of 36. This was a common practice to save time, but the pilot and the assistant had failed to make the pre-flight inspection appropriately, and the mechanic forgot to secure all the screws. The flap was held through takeoff because of the negative pressure in the intake port, and the retracted main landing gear wheel prevented it from falling off right afterward. It was only during the landing approach that the overpressure in the intake duct caused by the engine throttle blew off the hatch once the undercarriage was extended. As air escaped through the resulting leak in the intake shaft, the airflow disrupted the engine and caused it to flame out and fail. Dissatisfaction A few months later, the technician was held accountable for negligence and sentenced to five years in prison. Meanwhile, the victim's identities could not be determined until after Germany's reunification. Fortunately, the aircraft had not been loaded with ammunition, but the crews responded accordingly, effectively containing the situation. All the same, the accident provoked resentment among the population, who called for jet fighters to stop flying to the nearby airfield. Moreover, the textile factory workers threatened to go on strike, as mothers refused to bring their children to the kindergarten located right in the middle of the flight path. Many residents also demanded to be given apartments in other parts of the city, and soon even the city council expressed dissatisfaction and asked for the aircraft to be relocated. Perhaps due to the complaints and the growing fear of further accidents, the National Defense Council decided that same year to expand the Holstorf airfield and relocate the fighter squadron away from the densely populated area. The transfer took place in 1982, and the Cottbus base would now host the Combat Helicopter Squadron 3, which posed much less danger. Despite the relocation, another MiG-21 crashed in the city in 1985. The aircraft from Fighter Squadron 7, stationed in Druids, crashed in Cottbus due to hydraulic damage. This time, however, the pilot ejected safely but the aircraft crashed into a dormitory at the engineering college. Fortunately, it was a Saturday, and the 800 students were in the vicinity of the Max Steinbeck Gymnasium, away from danger. Only two people were hurt, and no lives were lost. Non-compliant. Two days after the catastrophe, Major Makawika was posthumously awarded the Gold Combat Medal for services to people and fatherland. He received a burial with military honors in the Cottbus Southern Cemetery, and the textile compound also hosted a funeral service for those lost in the crash. On the 30th anniversary of the incident, a woman from Cottbus suggested a street be named after the hero and also put up a commemorative plaque. But despite the mayor's support, the initiative has not been carried out. To this day, the repaired hole on the third floor of Schmelwitzerstrasse 2 is still visible. Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe to Dark Footage and check out all our Dark Documentaries channels for many more exciting historical events, anecdotes, and true stories. And click on the bell icon to receive notifications about our newest content. Stay tuned.